Well, to talk more about food allergies and why they seem to be on the rise, especially in our nation's children, is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for being here. Good to be I here. I want to throw out right away, what's your theory on how this child in particular may have developed allergies? I think a big problem that this child and many people have is we don't have the right types of bacteria in our body. You know, when we walk around, we have about a trillion human cells and we have about a hundred trillion bacteria cells in our body. And that's made up of a lot of the bacteria bacteria in our gut. So if someone's born with a C-section, they don't have the bacteria that they're getting from their, mo their mother's birth canal. You know, most kids will take between 10 and 20 courses of antibiotics as children, and so we're basically destroying a lot of our bacteria. So this might be a man-made problem. We're kind of screwing up our systems. In third world countries, they don't have as many allergies. No, they don't have as many allergies, and they don't have any inflammatory bowel disease, not a fraction of the amount we have. So it's the sterility that we have. It's the not using breast milk that causes a problem. Let's talk about some of the common food allergies because I was just noting in my children's elementary school there are so many signs and I didn't grow up this way that say extreme peanut allergy inside this classroom. There are warning signs posted and there must be at least half a dozen of them. W what are the most common ones and, and why are we seeing it Well, more? we're seeing more and more allergies again because I think of a, a, a lot of the sterility problems that we have but cow's milk, eggs, peanuts, all sorts of tree nuts, fish, shellfish, soybeans, and wheat are the really common ones. And, and how should we test? Because you may not think you have an allergy when you're having irritable bowel, irritable bowel yeah. or something. It actually is, is difficult to do on your own. And I would really caution our uh, viewers to see their gastroenterologists or primary care doctors. But there are a number of tests that can be done. We can do the simple test is just keep a food diary. Mm -hmm. You know, keeping a diary of what, what foods you're eating and what types of rashes or symptoms are occurring. You can do scratch tests. There are blood tests you can do. We have a list of a whole host of things that can be done, but these are not uh, tests that you may want to do on your own. You should do it with a physician's advice. And then once you have that advice, you've gone through the testing, is it just a process of elimination for treatment? I mean, are there other treatments or how do we restore these good bacteria? Yeah, there actually are, and that's one of the really big areas in, in science these days. You know, as being a doctor for 30 years, I know that I don't know anything. And what we're learning more about is our microbiome, or the bacteria that lives in us. So we can actually reconstitute our bacteria. We can do it simply by taking probiotics or eating yogurt, or there's now studies for a whole host of disease of reintroducing fecal bacteria. Sounds really disgusting, especially mm -hmm. in the dinner time hours, but there are actually a number of people where you can introduce bacteria from purified feces or feces that doesn't have bad bacteria up into your colon, so you don't have to eat it, of course, and you can actually repopulate your bodies with the the good types of bacteria that will affect your immune system, stress levels, your, back, um, your abdominal cramps and things of this sort, as well as other things like how obese you are. You know, a lot of the bacteria in our mm -hmm. body will actually make hormones that tell us when we're full and when we should stop eating. There's a theory is that some of the people that overeat may not have the right bacteria in their colons that are giving that are preventing the signals to our brain to tell us hey we're full stop eating well this clearly has some far-reaching effects and we're just scratching the surface so thank you for bringing it to our attention always good to see you dr g and these are some valid things to bring up to your physician walter if you're not feeling well in some way all right well thanks for that report it's very interesting